Hi everyone, it's Chris here and it's Professor yeah. Professor Ballinger. We're back at you for our second uh, major video. Major. Thank you very much for your comments and your views on the first one, Loving okay? Your comments. It's really nice. Very nice. Isn't it? And we're going to take those suggestions forward as well. We're going to just, uh, do some of those things. Um, and we're going to do one of those things right now. So what we're going to do for today's video is we are at 30 meters, okay? And we are using my day state Red Wolf. And here's the challenge, okay? We're gonna take 10 shots each using the magazine and the single shot tray. Dun, dun, dun. Now the idea between, uh, between behind this is we're gonna be obviously seeing who's a better shot. And then what, we're gonna be, then what we're gonna be doing is the big thing is we're gonna be seeing which one is more accurate at this distance. Now, you might think that we're making excuses, you We're not see. making excuses, right? It's outside, it's 30 metres, and it is blowy today. Okay, because... I've got my hat on, my bubble hat, or if you're in America, it's a stocking cap. Um, I, I'm not in America, so I don't know what that means, but it it's is... It's a bubble hat. It, it, is, it is windy today, but we're not going to be making any more excuses, okay? It's uh, not an excuse. It's 30 metres outside, and it's blowy. And we're just going to have some fun, okay? So, um, Ian right, will so be up first. Am I? Uh, would you like to use the magazine or the single shot tray first? Magazine. Magazine. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, or a bad one? That's in the six. I mean, that, that is. Oh, that's a bad one. That's taken on something. That's Any better? See it and blowing the branches on the hedge. <laughs> now, obviously, I haven't seen what you've done so far, right? And to you, a flyer is, for what I would guess, most people would be quite close. Do you think I'm going to be disappointed in you? I'm excited to see what the grouping's like. It's no grouping. You got one more. to me. Any any comments here? That is challenging. Challenging. To say the least. Okay, let's see how I go. go, go. So just before we start, um, I can see already that Ian's under very challenging circumstances done very well. I'm just going to, I'm not compensating for wind here. Okay, this is different stylistically between us. Okay, so I'm just going to be going for the bullseye and I'm not going to be compensating. I'm just going to see what the grouping is like this distance. Text. 
No, no, it's, it actually blows the gun, even when you're holding it. Yeah. That actually turned out a little bit better than I thought. The grouping wasn't too bad, but what we're not going to do, we'll have a look at everything after we're done. So now we'll look at the 10 shot mag, okay? No. Single trace. Single shot tray, sorry. We've just done the 10 shot mag. Yeah. My bad. We're going to look at the single shot tray. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is Ian's 10 shots using this single shot tray. Single shot. No rush. So I aimed right at the number eight. And you hit the bullseye, presumably. Yeah. Are you going to be doing the same thing the whole time? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good man. Quite difficult to hold the camera still. <laughs> it's lovely when the sun's out. Can you feel that? Notice Ian's very methodical and unique shooting style there. He wraps his left hand around the butt of the gun. Many people have speculated if this is his key to his power. I think it is. Give me some feedback, Professor Ballinger, what's going on? Did okay. Are you happy? Yeah, I mean, it's not tight or anything, but... And as a adjustment to what I said earlier, I'm not aiming at the eight every time, because I'm feeling less blowy on the So you're adapting every single shot to your conditions? I'm trying to. Do you know how many you shot? No. I think that was number eight. I was going to tell you one more thing. You should do two more. Treat yourself. Right. Initial thoughts, please. Scattered again, but blowy outside. 
30 meters as discussed. Um, but we're not making excuses, are no. we? No, 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 no. Uh, no. The single shot tray is nice, really easy to load, very, very good. Uh, and my grouping certainly better using that than. So, so you can tell that already? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, okay. there was things going wrong that I was still yeah, getting yeah, yeah. used to those conditions, whereas now after a mag, okay, even 10 shots, it helps getting comfortable. Well, let's see if I can replicate your findings. Um, let's go. All right, it's time for the single shot tray. So I'm going to do 10 again, as I said last time. I am not taking into account the wind. I know that may sound silly to some people, but I'm just going for the full time. Um, that is just try and eliminate the wind. That's all I'm trying to do. Just trying to eliminate the wind. Oh, that was rough, but I'm going to keep it in. What do you mean, keep it in? Uh, I'm going to keep it in scoring, scoring zone. If we miss the scoring zone from Definitely. this distance, in any conditions with that gun, we're in the wrong game. Have you ever considered changing games? I think we're re rewriting the rules of the shooting game, Ian, every video. I'm very happy with this so far. Good. You did do a grimace. Ooh. I think, well, I'll, we can talk about the pros and cons both in a moment. Oh, drop the pellet. Got my JSP. Good, because my hands are freezing. One. Are you alright? You'll be okay? If you uh. Two. Last one. Get a wriggle on. Okay, so I'm just going to take you through the results now. Um, if you'd like to just come in and, and look at this, okay? I know it's a little bit hard to see, but this is Ian's magazine and Ian's tray. Now you can see the spread there, and it looks like the tray is grouping a little bit better than the magazine. If we go to my results here, we can see that the magazine is there. And the tray is there. Now this is a little bit tough to see, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to propose something, okay? I'm a, I'm a scientist, believe it or not, and I like to try and be scientific. So what I've done is I've calculated, um, which I'm going to call the the Alphic Ballinger coefficient. Now what I've done is I've done the following. I'm going to take you through it now. So Ian, if you'll just come to your real results here, okay? So what you do is you you draw a box it encompasses all of the pellets that you fired, okay? So you've got to be honest. So I think that they, they could be flyers, but we're, we're going to include it in the, in the data, okay? And we do it for each single one, right? So if we just compare Ian's findings, this is with the magazine, his uh, Elphic Ballinger coefficient is 1,360 with the, with the magazine. However, with the tray, his Elphic Ballinger coefficient is 774, which means that the tray grouped better, right? Now, if you go over to my results, this is with the magazine. My Alfred Ballinger coefficient is 702, and that's for the magazine. And for the single shot tray, my Alfred Ballinger coefficient is 315. 513. 513, sorry, that's my dyslexia coming through. Um, so from this, we can find out that it would appear that the single shot tray does give you increased accuracy over 30 meters. What we need to also bear in mind if we're being scientific is the fact that I was not aiming at a single point throughout my mags. I was trying to factor in wind and go for the bullseye, whereas yeah. you were going for a single shot point. I think what we should do is we should end the video and talk about that together on camera because I think that would be nice. Oh, good. Okay. So we finished today's experiment. My hands are freezing still.
Hence Ian's me gripping my cup of Ian's tea. hands are cold. I'm a little bit. Um, I was born in the darkness, so it's a little bit easier. Do you know what that was a reference to? No. No, it doesn't matter. Um, that was a reference to Bane from that Batman film. Anyway, um, what are your first thoughts about what we've looked at today, Ian? Ian Ballinger. Nice. Good times. Love having a shoot. Um, what we've looked at, we've looked at. It's a good experiment. I enjoyed it. It was challenging, but it was uh, it was good to see, especially on your side where you were aiming for a single point, how the uh, tray had a different effect to the mag. It did. So if we look at the uh, Elvis Ballinger coefficient, the magazine is 702 and the tray is 513. So there's a difference of around 200 there. However, beforehand you were talking about some of your criticisms of what we've done today. Because there are some problems about this being scientific because there are some differences. Did you just do air quotes? I did, yeah, but yes. I'm a scientist so, and I've seen that episode of Friends as well. Okay. So, Shall I be Joey? Um, don't I'm be Joey. Gonna, I'm not going to let my tea what get down. Do you, what would you like to say about that? Because I think it's worth pointing just, out. Just remind me again of the question. Why isn't this... Why shouldn't this be considered scientific? I don't know what you're talking about. So you were talking about um, uh, the fact that I was going all the time when I was shooting. Oh, yes. But, I well, was, it's just inconsistent in the fact that I was trying to factor in wind. Yes. Um, not mindful of the fact that this was, in fact, a scientific experiment. I was trying to go for the bullseye and allow for the wind. And um, it's clearly hurt my Elphick Ballinger coefficient. Yes, but you got to bear in mind, I only created this today, right? So this, this... I didn't know of the Alfred Ballinger <laughs> coefficient or the rules that were governing the uh, the experiment until seconds ago. So you well, know, the... me spraying it all over the place has caused me to uh, have my pants pulled down and but that's... Chris slap my face in no, front of you. All. No, no, that's not what this is about. Although I have wanted to get you back. You have won. It's nice to show the people that you can actually win. Well, yeah, okay. But in between these two videos that you've seen, we did actually shoot some other footage where I think I was the victor again. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. But what I thought we would do is we'd just give a little bit of a hint um, about what I think our next video should be. Oh, we well, need to give me a hint as well. Yeah, yeah. So what? I was... Basically, the content's decided by the doctor. Well, no, you, but you're my inspiration. Oh, good. Right, okay. okay. So one thing that I thought we would do on our next video, and I think this would be worthwhile, would be checking out the Warfer RMA. Mm. That's my gun. A spectacular gun. And give it a little bit of a comparison between the Warfer Rain Bullpup. Oh, Chris has bought a new gun since the last video that you saw. We went into uh, um, Oakhampton, Oakhampton gun to collect it. With our friend Cliff, who is an what amazing guy. Great guy. You need to get there. And, and buy stuff. he uh, arranged the RFD transfer from Braces and Bristol of my Wolf of Rain ballpark. Now, on the day we got it, we had a little shoot. Oh, did and it, it was, was enjoyable. Lovely. Very nice. But I think that the people would like to see a comparison between the two. Yeah. And what we'll do, okay, we're not going to be working on the coefficient in our next video. We're just going to like have a comparison and a talk about the two guns. But I like that as a as a metric for um, scoring, especially for still days. Mm. And the so summer's coming. On Summer the next, is coming. On the next still day, we will possibly run it again with maybe your gun. Yeah. Because you need to get a single shot tray for the wolf. I do. For the RMA, and then yeah. we could do it again, and we could then we could explore a little bit more about this. I'm this... going to be messaging Cliff today about getting a single shot tray for my RMA. Cool. They're not expensive, which is nice. Um, um, so we can we can do that. So a lot has been covered in this video. So to conclude, the Elphick Ballinger coefficient is still being developed. We're going to work on a paper exploring it very soon. Um, the other thing is, it does seem that at least over thirty meters, that the the tray does give you tighter groupings than the magazine. Yep. Also, shooting in the wind is very difficult, um, but not impossible. And the reason why we picked 30 meters is that um, we thought that, that was a decent enough range to give us some credibility and legitimacy as actual shooters. Yes. Because going over 15 meters. Chris was like, let's do 
40 and 50 <laughs> metres. I was like, no, mate, no. It was far too windy and we're not, we're not even going to bother sharing you any of the, the data behind that because it's, it's silly. But taking the scientific approach is fun. Um, anything else to add, Professor Ballinger? No. See you soon.